Down here on the end is my younger brother. I've known him his whole life. He's been a disappointment for most of it. Started back in the 70s when he run off with a bunch of hippie folks and they just camped out in the woods and ate wild mushrooms and took that STP. But he moved back home with his wife T-Fairy and their son Jayzone and they live in a teepee down by the creek and make dream catchers out of cat hair. We're proud to have him back in the music and back in the family, ladies and gentlemen. That's Vernon Dean. We just call him VD. <laughs> Right here uh, is our cousin. We've known him his whole life. About half of his life, he lived in science. I know you're staring at me like a tree full of hoodows. You don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, trust me, uh, he had a saliva problem, an unidentified fungus. And uh, turns out that it had a composite that uh, turned into the antidote for the Komodo dragon bite. He lives a Pretty uh, normal life, uh, I just wouldn't kiss him. He comes all the way from Canespur, Arkansas. Big hand for Ricky Lloyd, cleverly. He goes by L, the first L is silent. Down here, ladies and gentlemen, is my younger brother. He comes all the way from Pumpkin Center, Arkansas. Big hand for Monk, cleverly. He'd talk to you, but he bit his tongue off in a donkey basketball game. Down here on the end is our cousin. He's a great uh, fiddle player and a commercial fisherman. He, uh, he moved up to Alaska, got a job on one of them boats, and caught the crabs. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, big hand for Otto Cleverly. I'm Dr. Digger Cleverly, and we are the Cleverly Trio. Thank you, thank you. We're going to do this old country fable. Hope you enjoy it. Thunderstruck 